On every single big cube, there's a thing called parity, which is a case that you can get, which is unsolvable on a normal three by three. Now on five by five and seven by seven, there's just one type of parity where it'll be edges flipped. But on four by four and six by six, you can also get something where two edges have to swap as well. Um, in this video, I'll be showing you algorithms for every single big cube. When you get to your last layer, there may be a case where there's only either one edge oriented or, or three edges oriented. And if you don't know, that is actually unsolvable on a 3x3. Three three. You would have to take out an edge and put it in flipped. But on 4x4, four four, there is an algorithm to just swap these two wing pieces. And the algorithm goes like this, and it's pretty long, but it's pretty much the basis of every single other OLO parity algorithm on any big cube, actually. So it goes like this. And make sure you rotate down here. And as you can see, you do either get across or get something that is solvable. So faster, it goes like this. And you can actually use this to your advantage. If you see like a bar here, these corners will end up oriented, both of these corners. So you can use that. So like if you have like a solved corner or if you have something like this here, you can use it to get a good OLO from this direction specifically. So as you can see, you have a good OLO here. Okay, so moving on, once you get to your PLL step, you might notice in some cases, you might get either two edges that need to be swapped or two corners or just a PLL that cannot be you can't get this on a normal three by three. So solving these is exactly the same. This algorithm specifically flips these two edges, but it doesn't matter. It solves parity and you might just have to do a PLL afterwards. So the algorithm goes like this. And then there's just a U2 AUF. So fast track looks like this. And as you can see, for everything, if it's just two corners, do it from this angle specifically with the corners in the back, and you'll get a T-perm. And then you can just do the T-perm. And then if it's just any PLO, there's some trick, like you can use some tricks to like, like just make sure you get a good PLO, but I'm not smart enough for those. So you would just do it normally and then do the PLL algorithm. From there. So there's one other case you can get and there's, you can do normal PLL parity and it'll get you a U-perm, but there is a faster way to solve it, which is just set it up so that they're opposite. So you can just do something like this and then PLL parity, and then just undo the moves. But yeah, that's just adjacent parity, because normal normal PLL parity is swaps these two opposites, so just make them opposite, and then you'll be good. Okay, so moving on to five by five, there's only one parity, technically. And it's literally the same as four by four parity, except instead of doing a normal R prime in one of the in one of the moves, you have to do an R prime with three layers. So I'll show it here in a minute, but it just literally just swaps these two wings. It's really easy to recognize. You can do it from any state, like if you're in like F two L, um, just get it into the top layer before doing this algorithm. And you can see, it's all soft. 
So here it is faster. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, so you might get something like this where it looks like you have two parodies, but it's actually not parody. It's solvable without that super long algorithm. And you just do it by doing a slice flip slice with one of the middle edges. So you would just bring one of the edges over here and then do the flipping algorithm that you learn when solving any big cube and then just slice back. And uh, as you can see, you have no parity. So if you have three parodies, then you would do slice flip slice and then another parody algorithm. It's like if you had like something like this, first of all, you're extremely unlucky, but yeah, you just do slice flip slice and then just do the other, the other parody algorithm. So yeah, that's five by five parody. Now for six by six, which is undeniably the cube with the worst parity out of like literally every single cube in existence. Well, that you can do at a competition. Um, you have to recognize all types of weird stuff, which I will start explaining now. So what you're gonna do to recognize outer parity from inner parity, which you'll see next, is you have to look at these two middle edges. So just disregard these two wings here. Now, if these if these middle edges, along with the other three full edges, make something that is solvable on three by three, so like here, as you can see, these two are aligned and these two are not. On six by six, these two are aligned and these two are not. You're, you have outer parity, which is unfortunately the easier one of the two, as it is literally just the thing we just did on five by five. So it goes like this. And as you can see, it is uh, now a possible OLL on three by three. Now, now this is the exact same case, but as you can see, these middle edges now don't make something that is solvable on three by three because these three are oriented and this one is not, which means you have inner parity, which is way more annoying. And I just learned this right now, so. Yeah, um, let's do it. This is the fastest inner parity algorithm. Most of the other ones that they show are not good. So it goes like this. And as you can see, it is now solvable on a three by three. And that's not even it for OLO parity because we have one more. That one more is full parity, which is there's no like discrepancies between each of the wings. It's just a whole edge that is misaligned while everything else is good. And it's the same thing as four by four, so it's not as bad, but it's still very annoying nonetheless. And it's literally just a four by four algorithm. Instead of moving two layers, you're, you're moving three layers. That's pretty much the only difference. So it goes like this. And now we are done with OLL parity, but we still have PLL parity to do. So the algorithm for PLL parity is the exact same as for four by four. It's still extremely annoying because you can get inner parity and PLO parity. So, yeah, six by six is garbage, but yeah, it it just let's just get onto the algorithm. It goes like this. And then there's just a U two AUF. So it's six by six is extremely similar to four by four, except you have two more parodies to worry about. And oh yeah, also there's also adjacent PLL parody, which is the exact same as it was on four by four. It's just do a setup move to make them opposite. It doesn't even have to be the same setup move and then just do PLL parody. So yeah, that's a six by six for you. 
feel free to rewatch this part because I'm not even sure if I can understand myself in this. But yeah, on to seven by seven. Last, but certainly not least, we have seven by seven. And there are three more types of parody to, uh, to do. And they're all literally ones that we have gone over, but I'm still going to show them anyway, because it's different because it's a different cube. So the first one is outer parody, which you could tell you could have if these two outer wings are messed up compared to these three inner ones. And it's the same thing that we've been doing with six, five, and four by four. And it just goes like this. And now you have something that is solvable, but it's a dot case. So you might as well just take the DNF. Next up is inner parity, which you can tell if there's only one centerpiece, which is correctly aligned, and these other four aren't. And it's literally just the outer parity algorithm just with one extra layer. So instead of moving two layers, you're moving three. So it's literally the same thing. It just goes like this. Last and probably the worst, as it is the exact same as inner parity from 6x6, six six, is double parity on 7x7. Seven seven. I know, makes no sense. Double parity on 7x7 seven seven is equal to inner parity on 6x6, six six, while inner parity on 7x7 seven seven is equal to outer parity on 7x7 seven seven with just one extra layer. Weird. Anyways, the out goes like this. And now you have another dot case, which you should definitely not just take the DNF for. But yeah, in conclusion, that is every single possible parity on every single big cube. And, uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Hope you found something useful. And, yeah, thanks for watching.